name's Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this fan and popcorn stitch, which you can see here in front of you. This is a fun stitch to work because of these little textured popcorns that are uh, featured in between each of your fan stitches. Uh, because of the texture on the one side, it's not quite the same on the front and back, uh, but it is quite pretty on both sides. So thank you so much for joining me today. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of the Paintbox Cotton Aran Yarn uh, by Paintbox Yarn, as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. There's information about both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around. Don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So start by making your slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. And today your foundation chain needs to have a multiple of eight stitches plus two. So today I'm going to chain a total of 18. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. Chain one, skip the next three chains, and into this next chain work one double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet and then chain one once again. So all into that next stitch, you should have three double crochets and then two chain stitches in between those ones. And then after your final double crochet, chain one. You're then on your foundation chain, going to skip the next three stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next three stitches into that next stitch, work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same stitch, chain one, and double crochet once again into the same stitch, chain one, skip the next three chains, and work one single crochet into your final stitch. That brings you to the end of your row one. You can then chain six. And turn your work. For row two, you've chained six. Your chain six is going to count as a double crochet stitch and a chain three. Next, you're going to skip the next double crochet and chain one space, and then single crochet into the next double crochet stitch. So you're single crocheting into that center double crochet of the fan down below. Chain three. Now into your next single crochet stitch, you're going to work one popcorn stitch. To work your popcorn stitch, you're going to work four double crochet stitches all into that same single crochet. Next, remove your hook. Go back to your first double crochet stitch and insert your hook into that first double crochet just into the top of it, reach through, grab the loop of your last double crochet just worked, 
and pull it through that first one, being sure to pull tight. That is your popcorn stitch. You're then uh, going to chain one to make sure that it's secure. Next, chain three and single, skip the next double crochet, skip the next chain one and single crochet into the top of that center double crochet stitch. Chain three and then if you still had more stitches you would repeat that across, chain three into your next single crochet, work a popcorn stitch, chain three, single crochet into the center double crochet of your fan down below. Otherwise you can chain three when you come to your final single crochet stitch and then double crochet into that final stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row two. For row three, chain one and turn your work. First off, single crochet into the first double crochet stitch, chain one, skip the next chain three space and into that next single crochet work your fan stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same stitch, chain one, double crochet once again into the same stitch and then chain one once again. Skip the next chain three space and then single crochet into the top of your popcorn stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain three space, and work a fan into your next single crochet. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final starting chain six, chain one, skip the next three chains, and then into that next chain, so into your fourth, work one single crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row three. You can then chain six once again, and turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and your rows three for as long as you would like until you have this pretty fan and popcorn stitch worked. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe while you're here, take a look around, and I look forward to hearing how you use this crochet stitch. Until then, see you next week. Happy crocheting. Bye.